Hey folks, another beautiful day across the valley after a nice weekend across most of the area. And as we go through the next couple of days, temperatures are going to warm up a little bit. We're going to get back to normal for this time of year. And with that, can't rule out a spotty shower or two. These are the current temperatures. 83 McAllen, 82 Westlaco. Get to the coast about 79 in Port Isabel. Same thing in Brownsville. Low temperatures tonight, not nearly as cool as the last few nights. We're looking mainly upper 60s and in a few places in the low 70s. And do be on the lookout for a little patchy fog later. And then tomorrow back in the mid 80s again with south to east southeasterly winds about 5 to 15 and tomorrow afternoon could be a shower in one or two spots but i think we're talking pretty isolated stuff the normal high now for this time of year is 83 and we're going to stay above that through thursday Friday, things will change again. We've got a couple of fronts on the horizon, one late Thursday into Friday, then another one early next week. That one looks pretty strong. Satellite, just patching clouds overhead today. For the most part, it was a pretty nice day over the area. Again, just a little higher humidity. That's about it. But look tonight, clouds thicken up a bit overnight. And then during the daytime tomorrow, we can't even rule out spotty showers. There you see just isolated activity moving through. So we're going with about a 20% probability of something flaring up tomorrow into tomorrow evening as well. If you look at the three-day rain chances during the daytime, tomorrow about a 20% probability drops back to 10% tomorrow night kind of holds at that for Wednesday during the day but then we get into Thursday and Thursday night the chain the chance ramps back up as the next front gets into the area and that could trigger some showers and perhaps even a thunderstorm or two a gusty thunderstorm we'll look at that in a second rest of South Texas looks like this right now 78 San Antonio and Victoria Houston 72 Go a little farther north 75 in Dallas San Angelo at 90 this afternoon while it's only 74 in Lubbock and there's not much in the way of rain in the state today, but there's a front in Texas. That front washes out before it gets here. Probably won't even see a wind shift from that one. So write that one off. But as we get into Wednesday, we see enough moisture around for again a few clouds. But here comes the next front racing southward. Models bring that in here late Thursday into Thursday night. And when it comes in, a shower, maybe a thunderstorm with it. Although I think it just rain for the most part. That could linger into early Friday, and then the rain goes away probably by late Friday and by the weekend. I think it's a mix of clouds and sun, but it's certainly cooler than what it's going to be during the week. And then by early next week, yet another front moves in. So we see some changes in the long range. But the next couple of days, yeah, pretty quiet, just a little warmer, more humid. This is what's going on across Texas right now. Look into tomorrow morning, 68 here, 64 in San Antonio, 55 in Dallas, 65 in Houston. Again, this is tomorrow morning, your travel forecast. Chillier when you get out in northwest Texas, 31 in Amarillo and 45 in Midland. By the time we get to the afternoon tomorrow, temperatures are warmer, 80s here, 70s in the middle part of the state. Again, there's a front in the state, so it'll be cooler up in north Texas, but our part of the state stays warm and stays humid all the way into probably late Thursday when that next front moves into the region. So your first one five AccuWeather the forecast for tonight looks this way turning cloudy with a little bit of patchy late night fog about 70 for a low southeasterly winds not much more than about six to 12 miles an hour. Then as we head into tomorrow I think we still see some clouds around, kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine and spotty showers, about a 20% probability of a shower tomorrow. High of 86, winds out of the east to southeast at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. So let's take a look at the next seven days, and we see some changes as we go through this forecast period. We ramp temperatures up to 89 on Thursday with scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm possible as that next front approaches. That carries over into Friday, returns cloudy and a whole lot cooler, only in the 60s all day Friday. But then we bounce back on Saturday to 74. I think we'll still have some clouds around over the weekend. It's not going to be a clear blue sky either day of the weekend. And then another front late Monday brings another chance for showers and maybe a storm or two at much cooler temperatures for the middle part of next week. That's your updated first one five accurate the forecast.